Yeah, ban the bad stuff. Because when these compulsive substances are abused, uh, these invitation to possession demon drugs create out of control, soulless, at least temporarily, scum robots who terrorize our lives. These hardcore drug addicts become psychotic predators and degenerate more and more until it becomes second nature for them to steal from grandma's purse. Oh yeah, that's just getting started. Uh, kidnap, torture, child molestation, partner bashing, and look, don't steal my car again with all my cleaning supplies for my house cleaning service in Berkeley inside, every last scrub brush. Real crimes. Kidnap? Murder? Uh, yeah, the com priest must, uh, police must continue to boss the hardcore suppliers of fentanyl, opioids, Impediments. Mm -hmm. And pharmaceutical executives. And illegal doctor prescriptions. How almost unbelievable that 400,000 Americans have been killed due to uh, addiction to opioids heroin and fentanyl, and yet not one pharmaceutical executive or crooked doctor has spent even a night in prison. Karmic bullshit. 400,000 dead, the killers making fast money, not, not even an overnight bed and breakfast in a county jail. But the homeless, street people, the small-time addicts addicted to these substances, and why are they addicted? Because what's their options in life? To be a minimum wage slave? What are real options? Where's the fun? Where's the rites of passage in our culture? Where's the chance to travel a little bit and get some overview of our world? Well, they need compassionate medical treatment to help them taper off their self-abuse, not have their lives further ruined by being thrown in jail and forgotten about. Yeah. Ironically, uh, the precise entheogens, soft non-addictive drugs that the government bans, are the actual cures for hardcore addiction. Yeah. Uh, masculine uh, and MDMA ecstasy. Treating Iraqi and Afghani war veterans, LSD, ayahuasca, cures addictions, ban the cure. The idiocy has gone off the edge of the cliff here. Uh, these are experimentally proven pathways to taper off self-abuse. And what about those incorrigible junkies? Well, what are we going to do for them? Uh, well, make a safe haven for the junkies to gather privately off the streets and provide them with a pure fix of heroin would cost about six cents a day to supply that with a nurse there, a clean needle. And I've seen that. 
I've been up in Vancouver to such a facility, a compassion-based facility on Hastings Street, uh, where people come in, get a fix, stay clean, get a little counseling, and uh, might lead to a health checkup.